Want to curve text in Procreate but don't see a built-in option? No worries, I've got you. Today I'll show you six easy ways to curve text inside Procreate without needing any extra apps. Whether you're making a logo, designing digital art, or lettering for prints, these techniques will help you get beautifully curved text directly in Procreate. Let's jump in. Hey, I'm Dee from RCD. I create easy Procreate tutorials to help you level up your digital art. If you'd like to grab free Procreate resources like lettering grids, brush stamps, and templates, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this tutorial helpful. Let's start with the first method, using the Liquify tool to curve text quickly. Now, since Procreate doesn't have a built-in curve tool, this method can be tricky if you don't use a guide. So first I'll show you how to draw your own curved guide, and then I'll use one of my own lettering grid stamps from my set to make things even easier. If you want to create your own curved guide, here's how to do it. Go to the brush library and select one of the uh, monoline type brushes. I like using the technical pen just to get a very smooth line. You're going to draw a circle. You can see this is terribly skew, but if I hold my pen down on the canvas, it snaps into a regular shape. And then if you tap the canvas, it then snaps into a perfect circle. So that gives us a nice curve. Do that again. Go. Snap it into a perfect circle. And that gives us a nice curve on which to place our text. I'm then going to move that into position. And of course, you can erase the bottom half of the circle so that you've got a perfect arch. Okay, I'm going to use one of my um, grid curve stamps for the liquify demonstration. I'm going to use this one, this arch here, and then I'm going to place it in the middle like so. And then of course you can use your transform tool to reposition it, the arrow icon at the top of your iPad. Right, next we're going to start adding our text. The first thing to do is to add is to create a new layer. So you're going to go to your layers icon, you're going to tap the plus icon for a new layer. And on this layer, you can now add your text. So to do this, you're going to go to the actions icon, the wrench tool, you're going to select add, and you're going to select add text, you'll see a little text box comes up with two little nodes there, and your text. For this demonstration, I'm going to write the word liquify. And now I want to edit this text. I don't quite like this font. I maybe want it to be a bit bolder. So I double click that word, and this little menu comes up here. It says the ANA01, that is the name of the font. Got some other information, but all you need to do is click on that font. And now you can scroll through and choose a font that you like. I think I'm going to go for Shine Bubble. Uh, this is a font that I've downloaded. And then I'm going to adjust the size of it. About there. And then I'm going to adjust the kerning. The kerning is the space between the letters. So let's increase that space. It just makes it easier to curve it without letters overlapping uh, when you start liquefying it, like so. Okay, and at the moment you can see this is now in a column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this little node to the right until we have um, our word in one line, like so. Next, you're going to move your word onto your grid. Let's move it to about here, the center point of your grid. And now we'll begin liquefying that word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the magic wand icon, the adjustments tab. I'm then going to select liquefy down here on the bottom. Okay. I like to use a combination of push, 
pinch and expand to edit that text. So let's start with push. As you can see, it's quite large, that size. I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. And what you can do is you can start dragging your letters down. Make it a little bit larger. The larger it is, the uh, more it moves. And you can make small adjustments by decreasing the size of the push. I think I want to try and expand the L a little bit. So select expand and I hold it on the letter. And I'll do the same for the Y. Maybe this dot on the I. And if the same will apply for pinch, you can select pinch to reduce anything. Next up, we have the warp tool, which gives you a bit more control over your curved text. Once again, we're going to select the wrench tool, add text. I'm going to type in my word. I'm going to change my font. I'm then going to adjust my size, adjust my kerning slightly, and I'm going to select done. I'm going to stretch that out so that it is on one line, like so. Move your text onto position on your guide, resize it as you must. And then, because you have that arrow tool, the transform tool selected, this little menu opens up here at the bottom and you select warp. Now you'll see there are four nodes on either side of that, on either side of the text. And you can use those nodes to adjust your text according to the curve, like so. For more control, you can tap the advanced mesh over here. And then this gives you more nodes and you can alter smaller areas of this. Now let's say you want to curve your text word by word for more flexibility. This method works really well for short quotes or phrases that you want to put along a wave or a curve. So let's begin by typing in our text. Once your lettering is in position, you're then going to go to your grid layer and select the N and reduce the opacity by dragging the slider to the left. This just makes it easy to see where your words are and they don't get kind of mixed up with the background grid. Right, make sure you've got your words or your text layer selected. You're then going to use your selection tool and make sure it's on the freehand option. And you're going to draw around each word individually. And this will allow you to position it and move it along the curve. And you're going to do this for each one of the words in your sentence. For the next method, we'll write our text in a straight line first, then move each letter onto a curve. I'm going to use my grid, stamp it on my page, and I'm going to start by handwriting text within the grid lines. Then you can place your text on a curved grid for guidance. And using the same method that I showed you previously, you're going to use the selection tool to draw around each individual letter and position it along the curve. If you don't want the manual labor of slowly 
curving each letter at a time or each word at a time on Procreate, you can use other apps like Canva. Canva has a free option to type in the text um, like I'm doing here and then you can select curve in the editing options and you can then very quickly adjust the curve. You can then export that curved text as a PNG or a JPEG and import it into Procreate and use it or further edit it there. Finally, the easiest and most precise way to curve text is by using lettering grid stamps. Simply stamp a curved grid onto your Procreate canvas, use it as a guide to type or handwrite your text, and if working with individual letters, use the selection tool to adjust them precisely. And that's it, six easy ways to create curved text in Procreate. Let me know in the comments which method you found the most helpful. If you want more Procreate resources, including free templates, lettering grids, and brush stamps, check out my Patreon in the description. Thanks for watching and happy creating!